Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Slashevsky. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam P on probability. The elapsed time T between the occurrence and the reporting of an accident has probability density function F sub T of T equal to 8t minus t squared over 72 for t between 0 and 6, and 0 otherwise. Given that t is equal to a specific value, lowercase t, the elapsed time between the reporting of the accident and payment by the insurer is uniformly distributed on 2 plus t to 10. Calculate the probability that the elapsed time between the occurrence of the accident and payment by the insurer is less than 4. And here's the solution. Uh, let us write x for the random time between report and payment. We are looking for probability that t plus x is less than 4. And the joint density of t and x, f sub tx of tx, is the conditional density of x, given that t is equal to t, times the marginal density of t. Well, those are given. Um, the conditional density is uniform uh, on the interval from 2 plus t to to 10, so its density is a constant equal to 1 over 10 minus 2 plus t. Remember, this is for a specific value of t, um, and for viewed from the perspective of the random variable x, that's a constant, but of course t may vary. Uh, but this is the first density, the density f sub x of x, given that t is equal to a specific value of t. So again, with respect to x, this is a constant times the density of t, which is 8t minus t squared over 72. And of course, 10 minus 2 is 8, so the denominator of the first fraction is really 8 minus t, which cancels out with 8t minus t squared, because 8t minus t squared is equal to t times 8 minus t, so the 8 minus t cancels out, and this becomes t over 72 for t between 0 and 6, and x between 2 plus t and 10 and the density is 0 otherwise. Note that the smallest possible value of x is 2 plus t. Thus, the smallest possible value of x plus t is 2 when t is equal to 0. Now, when t is equal to 1, the smallest possible value of x is 3, and then x plus t is 4, and for larger values of t, the sum x plus t is more than 4, and we want that sum x plus t to be less than 4. Therefore, the values of um, t, which are more than 1, automatically produce values of x plus t that are more than 4, and the event that we want to happen, x plus t less than 4, doesn't happen. Thus, in order for the sum of the two random variables x plus t to be less than 4, t cannot exceed 1. And therefore, the probability of t plus x being less than 4 is the double integral of the joint density over the region where x, uh, t plus x less than 4 happens. Well, that's um, the region where t runs from 0 to 1. Let me take the integral with respect to t from 0 to 1. And then what is the range of possible values of um, x that make um, x plus t less than 4? Well, uh, x has to be less than 4 minus t. But it has to be more than 2 plus t, because that's the condition on x that is given in the problem. So this becomes simply the integral from 2 plus t to 4 minus t um, of t over 72 dx, and then the integral with respect to t. Notice that because t cannot exceed 1, that interval from 2 plus t to 4 minus t 
is a proper inter uh, interval. It's not this way that 2 plus t could be more than 4 minus t, because the largest possible value of t is 1, and then 2 plus t is 3, and 4 minus t is 3, and everything is fine. That integral is a specific case. In this case is 0, but for smaller values of t, um, uh, the interval is a proper interval, so everything works. So we take that integral from 2 plus t to 4 minus t of t over 72 with respect to x. Well, it's just the integral of a constant, so it's going to be the length of the interval from 2 plus t to 4 minus t times t over 72. So t over 72 times 4 plus t minus 2 uh, plus t. Okay, well, 4 minus 2 is 2. And minus t minus t is uh, minus 2t. So this expression in parentheses is 2 minus 2t. We cancel out the 2 with 72 and make 72 into 36. And what we have left is um, 1 minus t in there. Multiplied by t gives us t minus t squared. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 of t minus t squared over 36 dt. Okay, 1 over 36 is a constant, we put it in front, what's the integral of t? 1 half t squared, what's the integral of t squared? 1 third t cubed, evaluated from 0 to 1. So this is simply 1 over 36 times 1 half minus 1 third, and that's 1 over 36 times 1 sixth, so that's 1 over 216, and that's approximately equal to 0 0.0046296, and that's very close to point zero zero five, which is answer A. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself comes from Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.